to Chronometer.com and the YouTube Chronometer channel. This is a municipal snow retention lot. A lot of salt in that snow. And I want to come and identify some of the issues about corrosion potentials. I'm going to dub it coral mapping. So to do a coral mapping with a chronometer, you want to find problem areas that aren't your typical places. And because of the excess salt in here, and the particulates that come off of the exhaust from automobiles, fertilizers that get applied in the summertime due to lawn service companies, a lot of these electrical boxes here, if you've got underground bunkers and storage areas that are controlling telecom or traffic signals, they're going to have problematic times in the summertime because of high relative humidities. And in the summer, in the winter time, we've got all this road salt. So even though we're in the Midwest of the U.S., far from maybe an ocean or something like that, we still have our areas of high corrosivity. Now I'm back here showing this chronometer because I want to establish a correlation. How does this copper chronometer relate to the corrosion of steels, zinc, and other components that you're going to find? So you can see that it cleared out nicely. Here's our install date. It's got our unique barcode. So we know if we scan that in, it's this location. I've got a zinc coated steel washer and a chrome plated steel washer. We're going to see how those corrode over time. And we're going to run a correlation to see how this copper actually correlates to these other components that not are only found here but in other places. So stay tuned to the Chronometer YouTube channel and for more information please visit Chronometer.com.